Hi, I'm Ryan from Fire Reach Outfitters, and today's video is one that I promised during my review of my 2024 Honda Sierra 450RL. That's right, I'm going to talk about my homemade throttle tamer, but first, I gotta pull that thing off the bike. All right, I got the throttle tube off the bike. Now let's have a closer look at that groove. Uh, I put my black gloves on, so hopefully we can trick the camera into focusing on this better. Now, you'll notice the groove here. Right here, I'll try to get the light to pick it up, but there's a little line that separates the two curves here where they meet. That line is the starting point for my groove. Um, now, from that line, the groove is a total of one inch long, and at the starting point, the groove is a 16th of an inch deep, and I carry that 16th of an inch for about the first half inch of the groove. And then I slowly bring it up to zero. So it's a nice continuous curve. It's not just a rough flat spot. Um, and what that does is it just gives you a smoother transition from that low speed control into that on-demand power that you still want, obviously, if you're buying a 450. Now you'll notice here, I took the groove right down in to where the lead slug pulls from. Uh, I just didn't want to have any weird binding in there, so I carried the groove right to the inside. Now, to make this groove, all I used was a high-speed Dremel tool with a 1 8 drill bit, and it was just a matter of running it like this and just working it back and forth, um, not using much more than a quarter inch of the end of the bit. And when I was cutting this groove, I actually wrapped this in tape so that I could rest my finger on it and keep it kind of in the center. Um, and then once it's grooved out, deburred the inside of the groove, put a little bit of grease on it, put it back in, and it's been working flawlessly since. Um, and it makes a huge improvement in the low speed control of this bike. Uh, I honestly, I can't say enough about how much that simple little mod really does. Um, I will put actual measurements in the description below. Anyways, as promised, that's my video to show off my homemade throttle tamer.